Hey guys, Gemma from ASD Rocks. That's for you, Stephen, for your OCD. Uh, I want to address two things, which I don't think I can address, address in the same video, but that have come in clear and strong over the last few weeks from some messages. I'm hearing the same sentence, and I think I'm in a really lucky situation because everybody's saying to me, I'm the only one feeling this, but I'm seeing it from everybody. So I want to just touch on the fact that there are way, way more of you feeling this way. And this sentence that I'm hearing actually almost verbatim from each person is, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I'm sitting on my bed crying, just out of ideas. I want to be a better parent. I want to be a good mother. And I just, I'm just sitting on my bed crying alone because I just, I don't think I can do this anymore. The reason that these words are embedded in my head is because I said them two weeks ago, just before we had our SSG, when I had a complete and utter total meltdown. I said those words. I've been doing this for 17 years. I have been coming up with new ideas I have been micromanaging so many people and trying to get everything perfect and running smoothly. I am exhausted. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know, you know, it's like how many new ideas are there to try and get the same outcome? And I hear you. And my answer every time is the same. Guys, if you are sitting on your bed alone, crying, saying, I want to be a good, a better mother. I want to be a good mother. You already are. Because the ones that aren't are not sitting on their beds crying, wondering how to be better. They're not even aware. They're not even thinking about it. You already are a good mum because of the way you're feeling. That's, that's really the best I can give you. I don't think that in this particular case, there really is much more to say. We all have those thoughts and I want to be, you know, I'm going to draw back to uh, when I was in hospital having my psychotic breakdown <laughs> and the psychiatrist said to me, you know, have you ever had suicidal thoughts? You know, and I thought back and, you know, I sort of drew breath in to say, and he said, I don't need a story, just a yes or no. And I thought it's a pretty intense question to be asking, to not get any, you know, perspective on. Like if ever there was a question in, you know, psychiatry that you wanted, not a black and white answer, it would be, you know, what were the circumstances under which you had suicidal thoughts? Um, now, in my case, the, what I had been thinking of was a time, you know, 15 years ago, um, the things that had happened and all that sort of stuff. And I felt a bit like, you know, I didn't want to be labelled suicidal just because 15 years ago one thought, uh, but there was no context. So, guys, just because you're 
having these thoughts of I don't think I can go on or I don't know how much longer I can do this or I just can't see an answer right now doesn't mean that you should be labeled as a suicide risk it does not mean that you should let be labeling yourself now having said that I highly recommend that if you are seriously looking for ways to escape the situation that you're in that you seek out help from a medical practitioner even if it's a GP call the police you know I say it to, I say it to Bo I don't see why he should be in any different position to us if you are feeling like you're really going to be doing something and you can't go on call the police but I also want to let the masses know who really know that they have absolutely no intention of following through but in that very moment in the deepest darkest depths of that moment where you just don't see life getting any better because the challenges that are being put up against you by someone else is too much to bear and you don't see an end to that it is okay to say I just can't do this anymore it is okay to say I'm done you know I was talking to one of my um, rock stars and I, you know through we, we're sorting through a really really particularly difficult situation for her and my biggest suggestion was you know because she, she was saying I got it I can't, I'm, like, I'm, I'm done I'm out I'm out and she said I think I might even take the day off work today I just don't I can't and I said my best suggestion to you is to go to the movies go to the movies by yourself preferably gold class because the last thing you want especially if you're auditorially um, you know uh, triggered is some person sitting right next to you chewing popcorn with their mouth open go to gold class have a glass of wine sit by yourself and watch a movie that has don't go and watch a bang bang adrenaline filled movie what we're trying to do is we're trying to put our brains into neutral we are trying to lower the the amount of adrenaline that is pumping through our bodies at the moment and if we can get physically into a sort of more lay back relaxed position um, in like a recline chair we can almost trick our minds at times into oh I'm lying back you know the body follows the brain and if the brain is heightened it tenses up and goes into that fight sort of mode um, if you can lie back relaxed put get something if you can't go to the movies and you can't afford it do you know what guys barricade yourself in whatever bedroom you have with a DVD player if any of you still have those I, I of course do and put on a movie and lie back if you can get out it's better but if you can't we get that so we want to put our brains into neutral we want to stop this thought process from just going round and round and round and round in our heads we need to break the cycle um, and getting out and going by yourself to the movies to go and watch something absolutely mind-numbingly you know or go and watch something extremely sad and give yourself the excuse to cry go get the notebook and have a ball right some people need to just cry it out other people need to forget you know what you're like so I'm just saying guys get off this this same break the cycle get off the you know the what do they call it with the rabbits not the rabbits the little hamster wheel and just break that cycle and come back fresh because 
we're all thinking it. You are not alone. You are not the only one. And the fact that you are beside yourself does mean that you're a good parent because I promise you I have seen plenty of parents that are absolutely ignorant of the situation that's going on around them. Don't even, they're like, what? You? <laughs> what do you mean? There's a problem. There's no problem. So just remember you are a good parent and the way you're feeling is way more common than you think. Way more common because I'm hearing it 10 times a day. You are not alone.